Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm really sorry I don't sound a bit, a bit weird, but I was ill for last week. So, because I don't really have much products to talk about this month as a favorite, so I decided I will do this month um, Ride or Die makeup tag, which uh, Jacqueline Hill created. I thought I won't be able to do it because I don't have all the stuff which I need, but actually I realized last time, like a few days ago, that actually I can do this tag and I think so that's the perfect time to do it, as I don't have a favorites of this month. So yeah, I'm not going to make this video long, so let's start it. So she starts from her favorite face primer, which mine will be the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I really love it for the big events or when I'm going out for and I know I need to count on my primer on my face, that my face they have to be matte and everything. So basically this is mattifying and so it absorbs the oil from your skin. Also, it minimizes your pores and the fine lines and it really holds my makeup all day. It's deep, of course, it depends which foundation I'm using, but if I'm using something mattifying, this one is just my go-to. Okay, next one is a foundation. And my foundation, I thought I don't have any. And I think so you will see in a few weeks time a video because now I'm pre-recording all the videos as I'm going on holiday. I don't really want to leave my YouTube without anything. So I did a video about foundation because I thought I don't really have any of my favorite foundation. But recently when I was doing my Halloween makeup, I discovered that actually I do have my favorite foundation, which I absolutely forgot about. This is the Revlon Color Stay, and that's for oily and combination skin. And this one actually has a foam finally, and apparently they changed a little bit the formula, which is cute, which is a bit lighter. And I really love this because now I can see my freckles. I don't really like when the foundation is too heavy and cover all my face because I still like my freckles how it looks naturally. So definitely that the best foundation for me because my t-zone is very oily and my cheeks are pretty dry but this one doesn't make dry my cheeks a lot like example the infallible did the infallible make my, my cheeks very dry but the t-zone was still oily so i didn't really like it but this one no problem at all it holds all day all night all parties I'm still coming home, I still can see foundation, of course, after so many hours of wearing it. I have my chin is a little bit cakey or my forehead, but it's like after, I don't know, 12, 14 hours of wearing foundation and old after the very wild party. So yeah, I highly recommend this one foundation. It's as well for the normal and dry skin as well, but it's, I think so with satin finish, this one have, ups, of course, more matte finish. The next one is their favorite concealer. I I tried pretty loads of concealers and I couldn't find for a very long time my favorite. But as the, <laughs> my makeup guru Jacqueline Hill introduced me the Naked, oh sorry, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, I fall in love with this one. I used before um, some stuff from MAC, I used before some stuff from um, Collection Lasting Perfection I've used and few others but they mostly make my under eyes very dry and this one doesn't this one i like the cover some people saying that's not enough coverage for them but i don't really have big under eye circles or something like i don't really need that many cover under my eyes so i absolutely love it it's lightweight it doesn't dry my under eyes it's absolutely amazing and probably amazing i will say like 100 times in this video but we are saying about ride or die makeup so this is definitely one of those. The next one, actually she didn't mention about contour. And because I'm doing the face from the base, so I will mention about my contour stick from Smashbox. I really love it as a contour. Sometimes I'm just using this one instead of putting a whole contour, including a powder. Actually today I did a pretty a lot. So this is one of my favorites. It's coming with a trio. I'm not sure if you can buy this separately. But it's coming with a bronzer and with a highlight. But from this trio I'm using only this one. And I'm absolutely in love with this. Highly recommend. Okay, the next one. It was a um, setting powder. And I was thinking a lot. And I've, actually I was thinking between my Paisa one 
and between this one Laura Mercier but definitely I'm not sure if you can see but I use it pretty a lot I will need to get a new one really soon it's really mattifying with all that stuff like my mattifying primer my mattifying foundation my t-zone it's just bomb I don't really have to worry about anything I don't really have to do much touch up of course I'm taking a little bit of my Laura Mercier with me but my t-zone it's not shiny at all so I'm really happy with this finish I can't really use it under the eyes because it's drying a lot and I feel very like very dry it's just awful feeling but for my face for my t-zone especially it's amazing the next one it was under eye setting setting powder so <laughs> I'm going to repeat her but my R is RCMA no color powder it's one of my favorite it doesn't dry my under eyes at all it's very sometimes it's I think so it's giving not me especially because I'm pretty fair but when I'm doing makeup for my friends or for anyone it's when they are much darker than me you can see a little bit of a white stain which it's a bit weird but I found thing with this one it's not actually no color it's more white side but it doesn't bother me I love it and I'm going to use Still, and I'm going to lose anti night I'm joking. So yeah, I'm going to use it because it's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it to everyone. Okay, next one was a bronzer. Um, I don't really have a bronzer bronzer. I have a bronzer from a palette, which is, you probably know already, it's my Kat Von D shade and light palette, the contour one. I really love this. I using if I have to use bronzer, I'm sorry that's my little kitty trying to get in front of the camera. I will show him. There you go. That's Charlie. He looks a little bit like Crumpy Cup, isn't it? But he's sweet when he's sleeping. But if he's not sleeping, he's a little bit of evil. But he's still so cute. We have another one cut, but she's gone somewhere. But yeah, this is Charlie. Hmm. Say hi. Okay, we'll let him go. So back to the palette. If I have to use any bronzer, I'm using definitely bronzer from this palette. I really love this palette. It's one of my favorite and since I'm by it, I can't really use anything else apart this one. And I'm want I really would like to try the NARS Laguna. And I think so that will be a good hit. So yeah, but so far this palette, including a contour including everything, is just this one. Bomb. Now we have another cut. So for my blush this time, it was a very difficult because I am not really a blush person because my cheeks are naturally very red and I'm not really fancy to put anything on them. Okay, sometimes it's of course better when I have like more of a cover foundation. But it took me a while to think actually which one will be my favorite blush but I decide I will pick the um, Amazonian clay by um, Tarte and it's color tipsy I got this actually with my makeup starter from one of the courts which I've done and I really love this one so if I have to use a blush or I'm using the makeup revolution sugar or love but this one is definitely my favorite I know it's more summery but I'm putting just a little tiny bit of it because I prefer it more bronzer than a blush so yeah i really like and it. it's staying a very long time on my skin i don't really have any problems with that and i absolutely love it and recommend it a lot and my highlighter that was another struggle which i couldn't really <sighs> couldn't really decide what i'm going for but it have to be this one it's of course mary luminizer bar the balm I was waiting for this highlighter so long it's just one of my favorite ha highlighters I'm not sure you can see it but it's absolutely amazing of course it's so light here because the weather is changing like crazy well welcome in autumn in England so yeah basically my Mary Luminizer is amazing one I really love it another one which I all had struggled with it was um, Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. I love Jaclyn Hill, as you can probably notice already. Um, but I think so. It's maybe a little bit too gold for me. 
so sometimes I prefer this one I think so it's more neutral it's going with every single makeup look which I'm doing so that's why I love it so much and that's why I choose this one over the Becca one okay next one was eyes and here I had a huge struggle with choosing the, just the one makeup palette because I really like my own makeup palette which I create and I have loads of makeup big eyeshadows but basically she used the probably she will do the same thing which she wants to do this kind of palette but it was basically the palette which you can buy so for me my palette which I can buy and I absolutely love and it's my right or die <laughs> right or die palette it's going to be my Anastasia Model Renaissance I even don't know what to say about this palette. I just really love it so much. They call the variety of colors. It's so amazing and I'm using it a lot. And all my friends are also, when they are seeing this one, they're like, oh my God, it's such an amazing palette. And they are so creamy, the eyeshadows, they are so pigmented. And actually I was thinking as well to add here uh, my Urban Decay, the Gwen Stefani palette, but I was like, no. This one is my go-to palette and I love it a lot. You can create so many makeup looks, the more neutral, the more... Of course, everything will be warm because this palette is mostly warm eyeshadows, but I'm mostly wearing warm eyeshadows because I'm so pale and I think so. They just be much better. So yeah, that's... I could sleep with that palette. When I got it for the first time, I was telling everyone that it's my new baby and I'm going to sleep with this palette because I fall in love with this one immediately when I got it to my hand so it's like phew, everything okay now she didn't actually put the eye pencil i didn't really have my favorite eyeliner because i am not an eyeliner person but i do have an actually that's a very recent thing but i love it already and i am using it only for a month but i've used so many black eye pencils i have from mac i have from i think i don't have from under ardency in the black one but i have the coffee one the brown one but i still need to set this one with an eyeshadow on my waterline i used the nyx one i used so so many brands and none of them were doing the job as I wanted to. I always have to set my water, my lash, water lash line. My water line, I'm sorry, I'm just so confused today. But with this one, I don't have to, okay. So this is the Zoeva Black to Earth Graphic Liner. Oh my God, it's absolutely amazing. And it's staying in my water line all day long. I don't need to set it. I don't need to do anything. I'm just, and it's so soft. I'm just putting it on my eyes on the top line, waterline, the lower one. And it stays basically all day, all day long. I don't have to do anything. It's just, it's just my number one. And I know I'm going to get through them a lot. And that will be the only one I can see probably what I'm going to get from the market. The next one was mascara. The mascara, I used so many mascaras and I'm so picky with mascaras, but I'm going back to this one like crazy and that's Volume Million Lashes So Cutter Mascara and it's it's my favorite. I have a problem because I have loads of um, the mascaras basically making stains around my eyes and I look like panda. <laughs> who, who likes to look like panda? And I'm actually changed for another L'Oreal one but I'm not really a big fan of it so I know when I will use the other one I will go back to this one. I actually like as well the benefits so real I think so, or they real, they real is called the mascara, but it's expensive. That's the first thing, and I think so. I still like this one much more over the benefit one. So that's my right or that mascara. The next thing which she was talking about was the lips. She didn't. I don't really have a liquid lipstick. I'm not really using a lot of liquid lipsticks. I prefer. I actually don't know why I prefer lipsticks. My favorite eyeliner is from Rimmel and it's um, Exaggerate um, Full Color Lip Liner in color 63. It's 10 snow. I think so. That's the, I'm sorry if I'm not reading it properly. But I absolutely love this one. It has a very nice shade. It's like rosy color. I really, before I use it a lot, 
I'm not sure you can see, but it's very soft, it's very nice, and I absolutely love um, this eye pencil, especially with a and so let's move on to the lipstick my favorite lipstick i'm not sure if it's available still i'm afraid it's not but talking about my favorite i can't absolutely not mention my kiko one miko makeup milano yeah and oh my god i've used it so many times and it's my favorite i'm just if i have to pick one i'm going for this one and it's color light rose i don't even have any numbers here anymore but it's 501 light rose color and i think so they are not doing it anymore but i've used it i'm using it so much like crazy and even all my clients <laughs> i'm just like taking off because they love it as well so much and basically I need to check if there is any on Amazon or any other place because I need to have a backup of this one. I also very like the Cream Sheen MAC um, in, col in color Creamy Cup. It's one of my favorite but for this one <laughs> I can't stop using it. When I need nude one it's always this one. Hands down. Um, okay so my favorite lip gloss. <laughs> I'm going to do it again, but it's Marc Jacobs in Sugar Sugar. I couldn't get this any anywhere to, in England. I couldn't get this anywhere in Poland. So my friend went to France and she bring me that. And thank you, Paulina, for bringing me my little souvenir. And absolutely since that moment when I've got from her my Marc Jacobs lip gloss, none of other lip glosses is like that all my friends when they saw this one when i put first time on this is like oh my god it's such an amazing lip gloss and i say yes i know it's a perfect color it's a perfect nude color and it's give you a really nice shine it's not too shiny in my opinion but it's just amazing and it's give you a little bit of nice scent it not it doesn't make your lips sticky like some lip glosses so it's just for me a perfect shade and the perfect lip formula of a lip gloss. Recommended a lot. Um, there is a makeup setting spray and I think so. I was thinking a lot which one to choose and I think so overall because as I said my skin is more oily side. It's the Urban Decay Sleek which is all control so basically it holds your makeup all day long in when so when I'm using all my stuff all my ride or die <laughs> ride or die makeup like foundation primer and everything and I'm putting on the top this one nothing will move my makeup even the bomb nothing absolutely nothing the end of the world I won't survive but my makeup will I'm, I'm telling you, it's absolutely amazing and I'm absolutely highly recommend it. It's a bit pricey. I actually really would like to try as well the all-nighter one, which everyone is moaning about, but so far I've got this one in my hands and I'm not regretting at all. Highly recommend it, as I said. And she also did the uh, favorite um, perfume. I think so soon it's going to change because I've fallen in love in one of every five. I didn't go to the ad. I'm waiting on when I will be on the duty free on the airport and I can get it a little bit cheapest. But so far, and my favorite, basically, I absolutely love this brand of the perfumes. It's my, f I have three perfumes of this brand and I'm willing to get more, but for now, my favorite, right or die, is Daisy or Mike Jacobs, is the black version. I absolutely love this one. I think so. I have this perfume for three years and absolutely. <sighs> I'm trying to save this perfume because I also have a honey perfume and I also have a blush. I love them both a lot, but <sighs> this one reminds me summer and it's, oh my God, it's just perfect, perfect. Actually, the perfume which I'm going to buy, which is Chanel, I don't remember the name, it's pretty difficult and it's a round bottle and it's called in co pink color and actually it smells very similar to this one but the, let's, let's be real, Chanel will stay on your skin all week even after the shower, that is something really surprising for me so that's why I need to get it. So far Marc Jacobs Daisy, it's my favorite. I know I skipped one thing from the Ride or Die makeup tag 
because I couldn't really pick one. I'm talking about the lashes. I was thinking, oh, I, the, my, my most favorite one are Iconic by House of Lashes and I have them in front of me. I just love them a lot, but they are very heavy on my eyes and my eyes are crying after wearing them uh, for a few hours. So I have to take them off earlier than I would like to. So I was thinking, okay, choose the other one. Other ones are my Ardell Accent 318, which I don't just half, so make you pop a little bit of your eyes. But I was thinking like, it's not that. And actually I don't have it in front of me then, but I also like Ardell Demi Wispies, but I wouldn't say any of those lashes are my ride or die. I also very <laughs> love a lot the Huda Beauty Monique. I was wearing them with one of my makeup tutorial things, so that was a warm autumn or something like that. I will link it down below if you really want to check it. I love the Monique one so, so much. The eyes are look so amazing with this one, but as I said, I don't really have my right or die eyelashes. If I would have to pick one, probably that would be the Mi Wispies by Ardell. But I don't really need to wear lashes. I love them but it's not necessary for me to wear a lashes. So yeah, I think so that's it for this makeup tutorial. <laughs> makeup tutorial, sorry, for this video today. Let me know what is your ride or die makeup thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is your ride or die makeup? And Or do the video as I did because yeah. It's, a, it's really nice to actually sit down and think what is my favorite. I couldn't def I couldn't definitely decide for any brush. Maybe some of the brushes they are my right or die and I wouldn't change them at all. But when we are talking about makeup, mm -mm. it's pretty difficult to choose. Some of those they are obvious, but the others one like hmm, which one is the one for forever? But yeah, I hope so. You like this video if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video and hopefully the next video will be on time because i will be in poland so i will be pretty busy on my holiday but i will do all my best to put my videos on time as they used as they used to be so yeah i will see you in my next video bye